since uh, I'm from Nandi and uh, as we all know that uh, Nandi is uh, always have floods so we really need more evacuation centers for the big, uh, flooded uh, area and uh, the reason is uh, like there's not enough evacuation center at uh, Nandi and like people they have to go like three four households staying in one household and uh, it uh, give burdens to the owner of a house so if they build more evacuation center there then uh, people will have the ability to go and stay in the evacuation center. Another thing, for us in drought areas who've been facing droughts, like uh, we really need to be supplied with more water tanks so we can store water and uh, during droughts then we can uh, uh, use water tanks for our drinking water, cooking and all those things. And the third one is um, cyclone like uh, for cyclone like uh, there should be for disability there should be if evacuation centers that are prepared only for them like uh, where they can be staying comfortably for disability and uh, young people I wouldn't um, say that um, there's a priority around human security which is um, uh, in my district, I think one of the biggest things that we're seeing is the heavy impacts of climate change. We're at a crucial time, a critical time when um, climate change is sort of a bargaining chip for women's rights. So I think it's important to understand that uh, climate change is a growing um, agenda for the Pacific region and we need to constantly put up a link around gender and continue to support the gender analysis perspective when we're talking about the impacts of climate change. We're at a time when development is increasing here, particularly in the in the urban centers and also in the rural areas due to a lot of um, industrial um, trades that have been taking place so I think it's important that we constantly and continuously um, support the agenda for women's human rights and and basically I think we've already talked about it through legal literacy levels at all levels and by utilizing um, the platforms like the national consultation is a perfect opportunity but I think and I know that climate change is an urgent issue for us and I think it's important that we act now and also pay attention to the processes that are taking place not at the national level but also at the local level in our communities which may include uh, decisions at the policy table at the district level and it's important that decisions are transparent and accountable and also where accountable mechanisms are held in place so that governments are also hold, held accountable um, and civil society needs to play its critical and active role in ensuring that this is what we want. I think the three main one at the district level now from the three districts that, that I represent I would say is about economic security, food security and personal security. The reason I've uh, chosen these three human security priorities is that uh, before and after TC Winston, the women and children, the women and girls seems to suffer more. I just give a clear example of economic security. Now women are finding it difficult in buying from the supermarket, in buying from the local markets due to the increase in the price of these basic food items. So most of the women they are unemployed. The, only the head of the family is employed but can be a sugarcane farmer so it, he is not earning enough for the family so for them that's, that is the priority issue so when they are not getting enough they can go back to the land to replant due to climate change and also links to the high cost of living that we are facing now so for them that is their priority issues in terms of food security going back to the, the now they are facing difficulties in trying to having the balanced diet for the family. The children can go to school without little lunch or some of them just go to school with a packet of noodles. These are some of the, the stories that I've heard from the women that I've spoken to during TC Winston. So food security is a major issue now for them in terms of trying to put food on the table, in trying to go back to the land to replant and also in terms of buying at a high cost. So that is one of the major securities, human security that they are facing in the rural communities.